because I come across a lot of, you know, coaches, strategists, motivational speakers um, who talk about collaboration and not competition. They also talk about, you know, getting into the room of people who are, you know, a few steps ahead of you or who are smarter than you. Okay, but when I get in the room with you, you're not even trying to have a simple conversation with a sister. Now, I'm not asking for no handouts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, but you won't even have a conversation with me because you don't recognize my business? Or you look me up on Instagram real quick and I have less than 2,000 followers so you didn't go on over to that side of the room? Come on now. Why it has to be like that? Hey family, welcome to the Living Her Truth podcast where we have honest conversations about what it means to live a purpose-driven life life. I am your host, Lakeisha Woodard from LakeishaWoodard.com, the place where women receive the tools necessary to feel seen, heard, and supported while pursuing their purpose. And now every week you'll learn those same tools through candid and transparent conversations. Hey family, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my podcast episode. I'm Lakeisha Woodard, your host, and as always, I'm 100% invested in your self-awareness journey. As you may know, I'm a self-awareness coach who helps women pivot for perfection of purpose by creating an action plan that reconnects them to their dreams, their values, and their priorities. What you may not know is that the tools I teach you here on the podcast, I share how I implement them in my daily practice on social media. If you're not following me on your favorite social media platform, I encourage you to do so. You can find me at Lakeisha Water across all platforms. In the meantime, as this year winds down, I want us to have some one-on-one time together. We're going to have conversations about mindset, clear vision, rebuilding confidence, and vision boards to prepare for 2021 by revisiting conversations I've had on my social media platforms. I know you're probably over 2020, but we still need to make every minute, every hour, every day count until the new year. That means we need to prep, and yes, we have less than 30 days left, but it's never too late to get started. So with that being said, please make sure to leave a comment so we can start and continue the conversation. Remember, a rising tide lifts all boats, so please share this episode across all your social media platforms. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. On tonight, we're going to talk about scarcity mindset. So please take a moment to share this video with your family and your friends, especially that friend that you know is a little stingy and always in this scarcity mindset and making these scarcity, you know, references. Send this video to them as well. If you are catching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Okay. Tell me what your name, where you're tuning in from, so I can know where you are in the world. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video, even if you're catching a replay, okay? Still leave your, your questions in the comments because I will definitely loop back around to respond to your comments and answer all your questions. So let's get into it. On tonight, I want to talk to you guys about scarcity mindset. So if you've been living under a rock, and just in case, or just in case you missed it, I have a new show called Living Her Truth that airs every Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook. And recently, I interviewed Cindy Childress. Now, Cindy is the editor of my book, I'm Prepared, 31 Days of Truth, Manifest Your Passion, Power, and Perseverance. And so, I wrote my book like almost two years ago so once i came out with my book i got so many questions that even since then people who are expiring authors have been drawn to me and so they've been asking me questions and i've been trying to answer you guys questions the best that i can you know but i decided to bring cindy on the show for a number of reasons number one she is just the coolest person that you can ever meet She's the sweetest thing. She has a big heart. And once you know Cindy, you just love Cindy and want to be around Cindy. That's number one. Number two is so she can answer your questions. So you can, you know, get your questions 
your questions answered by someone who is an editor. You know, you can get the motivation that you need from somebody who is an editor and ghostwriter to get your book done. Because it wasn't until I self-published my book that I realized that so many people have been working on books and have been working on books for years and just haven't finished. Or there are a lot of us sitting on book ideas and we're too afraid to get started or we just don't know how to get started. Or, you know, we just think that our writing skills are just so horrible that nobody will read our book, which is so far from the truth. So bringing Cindy onto my show was my way of pouring into you. You know, that episode was dedicated to my expiring authors. So that way you can get what it is that you need to get you over the hump to get your book, you know, finished and published. Because we want published books in 2019. Okay? Published books. But um, during the conversation, you know, she she poured into my audience like I knew that she would, um, aspiring authors. Um, but she also, you know, poured into other editors, other publishers, other ghostwriters because she offered those who are watching the video who are editors, publishers, and ghostwriters to connect with her, send her your contact information because she is in a season of access. She's been getting so many projects. She has been getting so much work that she's not able to handle it all. So she wants to have the ability to give you her access. All you needed to do was connect with her in some type of way. And she will put you in her little black book and when access comes, she'll just pass the, pass that work off to you or pass that opportunity over to you. How amazing is that? Right? How amazing is that? Because she did that, that's what sparked me to want to come on here and do this, this video because scarcity is such a huge thing, especially in the entrepreneur, small business, um, Ram, you know, starting a business is already hard enough, you know, because it comes with a lot of challenges, especially, you know, being a newbie, not sure, you know, what it is that you're doing and things like that. So when you reach out to people, not everybody is willing to help you, right? Not everybody's willing to help you. And I have experienced this myself. And I realized that a lot of people have a scarcity mindset and it's no reason for it because there's enough prosperity in this world for everybody. There's enough prosperity for everybody, but you still run across people who have this scarcity mindset. And it's so crazy to me because I'm here, you know, on social media, you know, um, promoting my business. And then I come across your page because our businesses are, you know, similar or you're just a business owner in general due to the algorithm, you know, the algorithm. I come across your page and you're, you know, preaching and speaking about, you know, sisterhood, supporting one another, you know, collaboration, not competition. And then when I reach out to you, you know, you're like shutting me down. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Nah, uh-uh, not doing that. And don't get it twisted, okay? Everybody doesn't have to say yes to me at all. You just don't. But you can tell when somebody is acting out of fear and acting from a, from a place of scarcity, you know, about what it is that, that they're saying, you know? And it's just it's just crazy to me because if you're not going to be about what it is that you preach about then i'm gonna need you not to talk about it and not to preach it at all so please share this video if you you know know somebody at this type of way but you want to like you know let them know on slide that they wrong send them this video share this video with your family and your friends because i want to help as many people as possible like we need to you know start the conversation like have real conversation about having a scarcity mindset and why it's just like completely not necessary because you know especially if you in the entrepreneurial realm that's that's from the we're talking from an entrepreneurial aspect 
right now okay so we're talking about business life as opposed to you know personal life when it comes to scarcity mindset and the reason why is because i come across a lot of you know coaches strategists motivational speakers you know um who talk about collaboration and not competition right they talk about that but then when you reach out, or they talk about okay they, they also talk about you know getting into the room of people who are you know a few steps ahead of you or who are smarter than you so you can learn something right because if you're the smartest person in your clique you know you're gonna be stifled like that's not the clique that you need that you need to you know you need a new clique but it's like okay but when i get in the room with you you're not even trying to have a simple conversation with a sister. Now, I'm not asking for no handouts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. But you won't even have a conversation with me because you don't recognize my business? Or you look me up on Instagram real quick and I have less than 2,000 followers so you didn't go on over to that side of the room? Come on now. Why it has to be like that? So when Cindy said that on her, on my show you know send me your contact information i give you my access like i could have like fallen out on the floor because i just thought that was just so amazing and it just goes back to who she is as a person so if you have run across somebody who has had scarce, uh, scarcity mindset or you know looked at you a little differently because you're not necessarily on their level just know that there are other women out there who are not like that, who will actually help you out, who are not afraid of your shine because they know and understand that there is room for you and there's room for, you know, for them, right? You just need to um, put yourself um, out there and keep exploring and get in front of different people. And, you know, and that's something that, I uh, needed to do that I recognized I needed to do and there was something specific that I started doing and I'll talk about that in a minute but I just want to talk about three ways for us not to have a scarcity mindset three ways for us not to have a scarcity mindset so again please share this video with your family and your friends because I want to help and motivate and inspire and educate as many people as possible because we need to you know build each other up we need to you know support each other we need to you know share each other because that's how like that's how you grow that's how the sister behind you grow and that's how the sister behind her grows right by setting an example by setting an example because what you put out you bring back in so the first way to not have a scarcity mindset is to number one you need to appreciate what you already have you need to appreciate what you already have because obviously you don't know that what you have right now in this moment is enough and you have more than enough because let me tell you something there is somebody out there who has way less than you way less than you Okay, I am sitting in this 3,000 square foot home, you know, in my own private room where I'm able to run my business from my from my house. You know what I'm saying? I can go to the grocery store I have that's right down the street and get fresh fruits and vegetables. I have clean filtered water throughout my whole house. I need to be grateful for what I have because there are people who don't even have indoor plumbing. Let's start there. So when you have a scarcity mindset, it's because you don't appreciate what it is that you already have right now. And you don't realize that what you have is enough. And if God never given you nothing, another blessing after this moment right here, then you still need to be grateful. He has done more than enough for you. Having a scarcity mindset is because you don't appreciate. How can you have a scare a scarcity mindset and appreciate what you have you don't because if you have a scarcity mindset you think that you just need to get 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 all the time i need to hoard this no you can't have this pillow get the girl the damn pillow god can give you another pillow stop limiting god you know stop putting a limit on his blessings 
right? The more you give, the more you get back. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So the second thing that you can do to eradicate your scarcity mindset is to stop being stingy. Stop being stingy. I'm going to need you to share your candy with somebody. I'm going to need you to share your candy. Somebody asks for a piece of candy, give them a piece of candy. Somebody wants to have my pillow, you can have the damn pillow. The next time you are out hanging with your girl, you know, with your bestie, your BFF, pay for her dinner. Like, stop being stingy. Because when you give a little bit more in your personal life then you'll start to 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 see and reap the rewards because the more you give the more you get back in return so if you're doing this in your personal life then it's easier for you to do this in your business life does that make sense because how can you do something in your business that you're not even doing in your personal life right there's a way for your for your life and your business to come together and be harmonious right because the common denominator between your life and your business is you. So what you're doing in your personal life, nine times out of 10, that's what you're going to be doing. That's the attitude. That's the mindset that you will have in your business. So start giving a little bit. If you see, if you know, if you're at Target and you purchasing something that's not on your list, because how many of us have gone to Target and bought something that wasn't even on the list, honey? Well, how many of us? I know I have. Okay, so if you go into Target and you shopping for something that's not even on your list, but you see a hair product, a random hair product, and you know so and so is you know having trouble with her natural hair, pick up the the the, the ten dollar hair product and give it to her. Stop being stingy. Stop being stingy. So we're talking about the three at this point. We're talking about the three ways to eradicate your scarcity mindset. And the first way is to appreciate what you already have because it's hard to have a scarcity mindset while appreciating the little things that you already have because guess what? There's always somebody out there who has less than you. I don't care how, how little you have. There's always somebody out there who has less. Always. So appreciate what you already have. The second thing that you can do is to stop being stingy. Give a little bit, share a little bit, okay? Because if you're sharing more in your personal life, then you're going to start, you know, experiencing and reaping the rewards of sharing and giving, and then it'll be easier for you to share and give in your business when appropriate, okay? The third thing I want to encourage you to do is to put out the energy that you want to attract. Put out the energy that you want to attract. If you put out this energy of scarcity mindset, everything is all about me, 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 me. I'm not trying to share with you. No, no, no. I'm trying to keep this and this and this and that away from you. I don't want to put you on. Guess what? You're going to start attracting people who are the same way. And, you know... Contrary to popular belief, in order for you to grow in your business, you need to expand your network. This is something that I am personally working on, expanding my network. It's important for us to do that. Expand your network, right? But if you're constantly, you know, coming in, you know, coming across people who had who also have that scarcity mindset it's going to be really hard for you to do that it's going to be really hard for you to do that so what i was alluding to earlier on like um what i did so early on in my business i started running in, i started noticing that okay why well, am i running into all these women who uh who have this like scarcity mindset as it relates to as it relates to business and so i was uh getting a little jaded by it you know um for for a little while there and so then i had to self-correct i had to check myself you know and say okay key you need to start putting out what it is that you want to get back. So you're asking people, hey, share this flyer. Hey, 
Would you post my book or whatever the case may be, right? Introduce me to your audience, whatever it is. You're asking people to do that for you, but what are you doing for other people? What are you doing for other people? So what I decided to do is I decided to highlight different women on my social media pages. Highlight different women. I don't care if they are in the exact same field as I'm doing. I don't care if it was another life coach, okay? If you are doing something business-wise that's aligned with my business, where our values, our priorities, our mission, and our vision, you know, are aligned, then I promoted you on my business. If you are someone who, you know, gave uh, a motivating or encouraging word to me, I promote, I'm promoting you on my page. We may not have never had met before. I could have, you know, read an article about you on somebody else's page that shared your article from somebody else's page. If I think that you're amazing and our business are aligned, then I highlighted you or I will highlight you on my Instagram page, my social media pages, my Facebook page, right? Because I'm like, I want to put out there what I want to attract back. I want to show other women that I'm not afraid to share this space with them. I'm not afraid of your light shining brighter than mine because just because your light shines brighter than mine doesn't mean my light ain't shining. That doesn't mean my light not shining. It doesn't mean that you have dimmed my light and it doesn't mean that you have turned off my light, right? So let me put out what I want to, what I want to bring in, right? What I want to attract to me, you know, the type of women, let me become the type of business owner, the type of entrepreneur that I want to run into in these entrepreneurial streets. Right. So I've had women come to me and ask me, yo, Keisha, I saw your YouTube video. Do you, you know, edit your own videos? Can you show me how to edit a video? Absolutely. I can show you how to do that. I can show you what I know. <laughs> I'm not a super, you know, <clears throat> a super editor. I'm not an expert, but I can show you what I know. Right. So put out the energy that you want to attract in okay because karma is real you guys karma is real if you put negative energy out there that's what's going to come back to you if you put positive energy out there that's what's going to come back to you if you put out the put the energy out there that money is always scarce and always fleeing you and never around it's just never enough that's always lack then that's what you're going to get that's what you're going to get and that's what you're going to experience you know i'm not saying that if you think oh I just want to bring in a million dollars, a billion dollars, a billion dollars, a billion dollars. I'm not saying it's going to come, right? That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, you'll start to uh, experience more prosperity. You'll start to, you know, run into people who are more acclimated or who's hyper, you know, or, or excited, if you will to to help you out and that's how you grow you guys there's enough room enough prosperity i cannot em emphasize this enough there is enough for all of us to go around there is no need for us to hide information not make an introduction you know not share you know information you know not uh post a flyer you know to to our tribe there's no reason not to do that because guess what you were in my shoes at one point in time that person who you blocking you were in her shoes at one point in time how did you get to the next level did somebody reach back and pull you up if they did you're not gonna do the same it's like that don't be like that come on don't be like that so the three ways or the three things that you can do in order not to have a scarcity mindset, let's go over them again. Number one, the first thing you could do is to appreciate what you already have because what you have right now, no matter how small it is, is enough and you have more than enough. But you have to appreciate what you have already. Okay? You have to appreciate what you have already. The second thing you need to do is stop being stingy. Stop being stingy. Practice giving more 
on a smaller scale in your personal life so it can be easier for you to you know transfer that those same good habits into your business because your life and business have one thing in common and that's you and that's you so what you do in your personal life nine times out of ten those same habits are going to roll over into your business so start so stop being so stingy in your personal life and the last thing number three that we talked about tonight is to put out the energy that you want to attract put out the energy that you want to attract if you want somebody to put you on then you need to put somebody else on simple as that and 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 do it from an aspect of you know where you're not expecting something in return let me, let me just put that out there. Don't do something, you know, just because you think so-and-so is going to do something for you. Like, you have to have a, genu a genuine heart, right? You know, your intent has to be has to be good, right? You have to have a cheerful heart. Even the Bible says that, he, that God, you know, loves a cheerful giver. He don't want you to be grudgingly giving you know, giving your ties. So don't be grudgingly, you know, give of yourself to someone else, you know, whether it's in your personal life or your business, you know, be a cheerful giver. So the energy that you put out, that's the energy you want to, you know, put out the energy that you want to attract, but don't do it for the sake of, you know, I'm just doing this so I can get this back. It has to be genuine. It has to be genuine. 